Bill Ackman, the hedge fund manager, tweeting out last night to Donald Trump and Speaker Pelosi. He says, Mr. President, Madam Speaker, in that you both agree on the first $1.6 trillion of stimulus, why not immediately fund that $1.6 trillion of stimulus and leave the disputed $400 billion to the outcome of the election? That way, Americans in need can get helped now. Do you think that's possible? And the one thing that I haven't completely understood about this is the $1.6 billion that the, or trillion rather, that the Democrats are offering, is that the same $1.6 that uh, the Republicans are offering, or is there a distinction between even what those 1.6 numbers look like? Well, well first, to uh, Bill's point, I think that would be a great deal, and that is the right thing to do. I don't think the composition is exactly the same, but it's really not that far apart. There may be more for state and local governments, for example. If you held uh, Democrats to 1.6, then you would otherwise get. Um, but there's really not a, a big difference. So I think that w that would be the right move to take. As for whether we get a deal between now and January, I don't think that's very likely. Um, if Democrats were to win the election, I think they would certainly uh, be open to a deal in the lame duck session. I think, um, you know, how Trump is going to act in the lame duck session, knowing that he lost the election, uh, is a big open question. To me, the most interesting implication of all of this is, let's say that Democrats do win in a, in a sweep, we get no deal between now and election. Uh, it gives them a big opportunity and a mandate to pass massive stimulus. And I think it gives them an opportunity to load their agenda into that bill, basically calling it COVID stimulus, where there is a big mandate to do something. Okay. So, Don, if you're an investor today, and this, this is an interesting issue, you know, there, there's been a conventional wisdom that if, if, if Biden were to win and there was a, a blue wave, if you will, that that might be bad for stocks, at least temporarily, because there'd be stock selling in, in part ahead of what people think is going to be a higher tax rate come 2021. People are going to lock in their gains. Now, maybe that'll be a short term issue, because I imagine after you sell, you you'd probably go back into the market. Maybe, maybe not. But Don, as an investor, would you be more inclined to want to have a Democrat win based on this idea of a larger stimulus? Elon Mui just joined, just, just talked about this issue. Uh, or would you be more inclined uh, to want to have a more conservative approach uh, that may be arguably, depending on your, your, your thoughts about it, more targeted? Yeah, if you're very short term focused, I think um, the market probably will go up if Democrats win because the fiscal impulse is going to be bigger. I think in all three election scenarios, whether it's a Democratic sweep, divided government with Biden in office, or with Trump as president, you're probably going to get a phase four deal either way. It's probably going to be biggest under Democrats. And then uh, lastly, just in terms of the core agenda, Trump really hasn't sketched out much, but Biden has. And what Biden has sketched out is a very, um, it's very expansionary in the short term in the sense that he's prepared to, ta uh, to spend a lot more than he's willing to tax. So in the short term, right. I think that's market positive. Maybe not in the long term. Is there, um, any, is there, is, yeah, that's what I was going to say. The long term, isn't there, isn't there any, anybody in the market who's going to say, sure, these stimulus measures are great, maybe in the short term, but long term, we have to deal with our debt? Well, I, my, my perspective on the long term is more that eventually um, that spending burst is going to fade and you basically paid for spending with distortionary tax increases on savings and investment in businesses. So I think that is a concern. As for the debt, um, th that is a really interesting conversation that's going on right now in many ways. Uh, you know, debt, um, you know, with real rates so low, there's very little cost of it. So I think the real cost of debt is that eventually it has to be paid for and slowing the growth of spending or higher taxes. And I think that is bad for growth. But, you know, that doesn't seem like it's going to be on the table within the next four years. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.